Welcome to the shop. Welcome to the shop. We're, We're at Chris's fun. shop. It's so super all cool. All you woodworkers out there, let me tell you the secret. We gotta find some doors. So here's Tom. Hi, Tom. Hey. <laughs> this one matches the eyeball we got. We got an oddball door that's not tall enough. Oh. So we got two doors like this that we can add on to and make them taller. And they would match each other from your bedroom to your closet. I was working on a project not too far from my own house, realizing that my client had a bunch of doors that they were no longer going to reuse after their renovation. So I asked them if I could buy them from them, and they gave me a really good deal. I think the other French doors that you have, you know those big units for the back of the house? And then we're going to have two side French doors okay. in the kitchen. And then that'll be adjacent to that. And I thought that would make a cool pocket door for downstairs. Yeah. I'm thinking from my closet and my bedroom are these. Because they're in good shape. The, I really like the scale of these smaller ones. I think I want to do them like pairs. You really have to look at the house and decide what's best. I'm using a large set of French doors in the rear of the house with a lot of glass to open up a house and make it feel more connected to the exterior. So maybe we use these going into my closet. I kind of like those. Okay. And then for my bathroom, we might have to mill something that kind of matches these. Oh, it's a bifold. Yeah. But we can make them a pair. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I just think those are I just think they're pretty. There is a door frame. Now you that was that that was that decorative molding. Yeah. I just want to show it to you. Yeah, too but, decorative. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no problem. No problem. I just uh too decorative for me. Okay, now we got this. This is about as plain as you can get right right there. Okay. Oh, you like that rounded? Well, that that's oh. that's actually my favorite, but uh oh. because it picks up all these details. Interesting. You know. But, okay. Uh, well, we might go with that. Only, can this get ripped here? So that this is only, yeah, I, I mean, think I like that proportion. Any of these, any of these actually good. Actually, what we need to do is make sure that this inch and five eighths and, and, and cut this one down a yeah. little bit and get these two, you know, pretty close. I think this needs to be a little bit bigger. A little wider. Yeah. Cool. Then this. Cool. And then this. But you're going to bring it down so it only is like. Yes, that's correct. It's only like that. Yes, that, that's right. Right, right here. Oh, I see a door. <laughs> Those are my doors. Those are your doors for your laundry room. As you can see, I got to add on to it to get it up to this height. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. This is inside your room. Okay. Um, look awesome. At oh, and here's the frame. Oh, yeah, it's in the frame. Oh, it's in the frame. Maybe they get to hear oh, that looks that awesome. Everything. Don't you think the proportions look good? Oh, it's beautiful. Man, we kept like going it. back and forth. That's amazing, Chris. Oh, yeah, and I'm glad we did go back and forth because I'm glad we got we it were. right. Yeah, yes, that's right. Oh my uh, gosh, they're so pretty. This is your foyer going from your, I said, at the top of the stairs into that little hallway. To go into the laundry in my room. Right. That's the case opening. Okay, right. they're so pretty. Amazing. And there's my pantry door, my sliding pantry. I think that'll be fun with glass because it's going to keep it kind of opened up. 
So those are the back doors. Yeah. And then you've got two side lights, so we have to mill two more side lights. Boy, yeah. We cut an inch off both sides. Okay. It'll be about 35 inches when Perfect. it's, when it's uh, said and done. Yeah, it needs to get down as far and as And is the can. height, we might have to add to it. I remember it being shorter. Oh, it is. It is. But we it's only have to come up to 83 and a half. 83 and a half is what we're shooting for. Yeah. Every, everywhere we can. So that's what I'm wanting to do. So I'm bringing you one, two, three, four. So you're gonna need to mill one more. Okay. And then I've got four transom pieces to go over them. Now, and these transoms, we have some no, of them? None not, of them. You have none of them. So my choice was, right, is to whether to get you to mill these as one big unit, and you said I'd save a lot of money if I bought these pre-made. Yeah, the, so uh, the I, windows, yeah. So, yeah. But then I wanted them taller, so I had to add the transoms to them. That's going to give you your height you That's going to give me my height. So I'm super excited, and this doing an awesome job. So oh, cool, thank cool, you. Cool, cool. Oh, boy, you're quite welcome. This is going to be fun. The secret is having fun while you're doing the work. Because right. if you have fun while you're doing the work, that shows when you put it in. So Lucy and I are making our morning walk over to the house to see what's going on today. These moldings on these windows are way too small and out of proportion. So we're gonna go ahead and take all the base and crown and moldings and sills off. So all of this is gonna become one big room with two big case openings. Um, and then glass all across the back and glass all across this wall and putting another window in the kitchen. We're changing the trim. Oh, this is separate. But how do we change the sill? This is separate, fortunately. It is? Yeah. So it just comes off? Pretty sure. And we redo those little sill pieces? That comes off of there. Then you, you, you're gonna have your trim that could come right here. Yeah. It's just interesting, well, even people coming out of architecture school don't understand like the construction of how a window sits in a wall <laughs> and where how the trim plays into that. The trim was right to here, so I'm always like, no, you, they always want to measure to the trim. I'm like, the trim doesn't mean anything. <laughs> You've got to measure to the opening of the window. All right, hey, hey, would you think this is already your house? Good. Yeah. There are so many different types of casings and trim you can put around a window, and there's certainly a lot of stock millwork items that you can go ahead and buy. In this project at my house, we're using a three-piece casing on the windows. The bigger piece has a small bead detail, and then we're adding a small trim piece, and then we are finishing it off with a back band around the edge of the window where the window trim meets the wall. If in doubt, I recommend looking at historical windows and doors because often mill workers were really proud of their craft and did a great job at keeping the right proportions between the windows and the casings and trim themselves. But certainly, when I design more modern projects, I might leave off the trim altogether. The French doors also have side lights on either side and a transom above to increase the height and the width of the door unit. As well, I'm using a large bank of casement windows on the other wall, again, to open up the walls and keep the room light and bright. For now, we're just concentrating on getting the window and the door units into the house to get the house sealed up from the elements so we can move on to installing gypsum board, which most people know as sheetrock, and then the fun will come in where we actually get to see all this trim that we've picked out put around the doors and the windows. 
the house is really coming along and I can't wait to see it when it's finished. Thanks y'all so much for watching. There'll be a lot more architecture and interior design to come and be sure to follow along and subscribe.